Well, welcome back to the show. We're now joined by the head coach from the Colchester Gladiators. Um, coach, thanks for joining us on the show. I, I know you've got a very busy schedule, so we appreciate you coming on. No, no problem. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, let me just start by a little uh, congratulations from the weekend, uh, game four of your season, uh, first home game of the, of the season as well, and, and you, you got off to a good start with a, a good win against the Blue Raiders. Um, tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, it was um, uh, it was a really important game for us. Um, as you said, it's our first one at home. It's been a, a tricky start to the season, uh, you know, for a whole host of reasons. Um, and it was a tough one. I have to say, I've, uh, I've rarely been as nervous as I was before this game. Um, it was one of those situations where our first two games, we've had a lot of injuries, a lot of problems. It was very hard to gauge exactly where we were. It was a new offense coming in this year. Uh, and then the Pumas, you know, that was a really important game to get the first win. Uh, but with the greatest respect to them, you know, um, things almost perhaps work too well at times. So we came into this game uh, against a team famous for being defensively very strong, uh, had had some real close games already, one of the, you know, the, the stronger teams in Division 2. So really, I was almost sitting there thinking, well, this is like a, an opening game, opening season game already, uh, you know, with very little to go on. Uh, the film that we had with the Blue Raiders um, didn't really lend us, you know, much information to how they might defend us. Uh, so we kind of went in a little bit on the blind side, and luckily things worked as uh, you know as well as we hoped they perhaps would have done. Uh, and obviously we came out with a, a pretty big win, uh, which obviously we're massively delighted about. So um, yeah, very pleased. Yeah, so th this is obviously a, a change for the guys. You, you started out the season with three games on the road. So uh, mm. how did the guys respond to all that travelling? I mean, to be honest, it's you know it, it is what it is. Um, Numerically, the Gladiators were never a massive side, um, but the guys we've got, uh, you know, we never have to worry about not traveling well, um, you know, and that, that can sound a little bit on the bravado side, but, you know, of all the weaknesses that we might have as a team, you know, as a coach, I never turn up on an away game thinking, oh, you know, what if this guy can't travel? What if that guy isn't here? Um, so to be honest, the, the players we've got, they're there home or away. Um, in some respects, I have to say I prefer away games. Um, I think what it means is a lot of players don't have to worry about, you know, mum, dad, you know, girlfriend sitting in the stands. They don't have to worry about necessarily how much game time they're going to get. They don't have to worry about any mistakes. They can just go out there, kit up, play football, and what will be will be, you know. So in a lot of ways, you know, I'd, I'd almost take an away game over a home game in some regards anyway so that that's really not an issue i don't think yeah yeah so it's certainly got its, its pros and cons and and uh, you, you will be facing that uh, this weekend though you've got your next game against the pumas at home uh do yep. you think you'll be able to put up the same kind of numbers and the same kind of scores as as last time you played them uh what a horrible question not to ask me huh? but um yeah you know it, it's one of those things that uh, you know, I'm very proud of the guys. We never take any team lightly. Um, you know, I, I keep stressing to the players that, look, you know, if we play as well as we can play and as well as we played in the first game or hopefully better, we, you know, we should always be improving. Uh, then, yeah, with the greatest respect to the Pumas, I expect the scoreline to be similar. And I don't mean that in any sort of disrespectful manner uh, to what Rory Hunt's doing down there. He's, you know, he's building a real good team down there. Um, there's a lot of stuff offensively. They complete a lot of passes on us. Um, you know, which we've got to look for. They've got a couple of real good players on defense. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's not get away from the fact, I mean, in some of our players, we've got a terrific backfield. Uh, Chris Jackson, uh, who was uh, one of our summer signings, yeah, he ran for like 260 yards on the Watford, uh, Watford Cheaters, um, you know, in week two. He was away for the first Pumas game. He's now back for this one. So, I mean, our, our backfield options have just got more and stronger so yeah i mean at the risk of sounding you know a little bit over the top yeah i, I would expect us to to put up some some sensible numbers on them for sure excellent well uh, 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 good luck to you and uh, hopefully it does turn out to be uh, uh, quite an interesting and exciting game and we'll be keeping an eye on the score uh, along with the rest of the scores around the country but thanks again for joining us coach and uh, good luck for the rest of the season fantastic thanks very much cheers